Hi, my name is Devendra Dole. Um, I born in 1964, and my parents, my mother's name is Garmeet Kaur, and my father's name is Gunnam Singh. Uh, my father passed away when I was six year old. Since that, um, we had a quite much uh, struggle in 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 starting life. Um, then my parent, grandparents. grandfather grandmother they basically help us to raise us and my grandparents they live in uh, uk for whole life and then when my father passed away then they moved to us and they did big sacrifice for us to help us to raise and uh, they basically they are the one who make me like this whatever i am right right now because of my grandfather uh, i have a two sisters younger than me obviously they are uh, uh, also very much like uh, in indian structure we need to be look after uh, younger sisters especially and uh, uh, i did whatever i can but there's a very limited resources in india so it's uh, difficult to do anything much in that then we all i start studying and start going in school primary school um primary school is uh, in my village we just got a, a basic education in uh, my village then i went to high school high school is uh, also in a village but it's a little far away from my village and we need to be walk and sometimes even at that time i did not had a cycle and we walk at that time um then i complete my 10th grade there then i move in college and my college is uh, in uh, um khalsa college ludhiana gjn khalsa college ludhiana and uh, i complete my uh, education in in that uh, khalsa college ludhiana Uh, when i start studying in khalsa college ludhiana basically uh, there was no aim while we are studying uh, kind of just going to college and not having any clear destination what we will do while we complete our education and many things came in our mind to we will do this probably we can be one day we can uh, complete uh, llb or become a lawyer or a uh, something but did not clear up to and uh, it's not only me but many uh, student are uh, living in that type of uh, uh, and facing that challenge basically and because there's no particular guidance to students how how they can succeed in their life and uh, in punjab at that time there was a, a kind of a, a struggle going in uh, between uh, 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 Khalistan moment and uh, there's a kind of a big mess it's it was at that time and college life was not very good especially at that time and most of uh, us like most of people like uh, us they were looking as solution how we can able to escape out of uh, that type of situation which is not uh, uh, able to benefit to anybody right so at at uh, one point uh, the at the side my family they help me and we decide to be uh, not staying in, in in that area to moving out of that but unfortunate part we don't know where we will go and what we will do yeah all the sudden uh, my friend came and uh, he proposed okay we can go out of country and uh, probably we will find a way somewhere we can be able to end up in a good place uh, when we decide 
and uh, probably we did not have even at that time clear uh, distance where we can end up. So only the issue was to just get out of uh, in that type of environment where we can able not able to do much. So that that's why uh, we decide in 1986 I moved out of uh, uh, Punjab out of India. And then I came to Europe and uh, I struggled in Europe a lot, big time. And especially when you are traveling, uh, not in a, in a proper way. Basically, we, we became a refugee out of uh, uh, India when we came. Then I came in France. Then I came in Germany, right? Uh, the, uh, then I traveled to England. Then I came back to Holland. Uh, we traveled a lot in, uh, in that area. I was really confused at that time and uh, what what is going to happen and where we can end up and uh, uh, once we start working when, when, once we start doing something uh, especially in Europe at that time was not uh, any good process where we can able to settle and right so we try to be settled uh, in Germany and did not work then we try to be settle in uh, France did not work so uh, end of the day there's one one of my friend he came to um, came to us again uh, they are uh, planning to uh, taking a ship from uh, Holland to uh, Canada basically um, the friend uh, came to us then he he told us okay there is going to be ship going to uh, Canada why not you guys can come and uh, uh, it can be uh, easy life in Canada, you can be okay, then everything can be fine up there, you can find some source where you can able to do something good in there. Uh, then we decide and we did not know what type of ship is that and what is going to be happen while we are going in that ship and where are we going, going to end up uh, uh, especially at that time with that ship right and when we when they brought us in the ship and it was a oldest ship i can say right and rusty ship and it was not very safe right so uh, they started and we were not uh, only few people we were 174 people in that ship it's big big uh, big number of people are who are uh, in the same situation where we came from and they are uh, also part of that uh, uh, ship. So when they start a ship from uh, basically Holland, they came from Holland and it, it took us 21 days in the ocean, basically um, ups and downs, empty ship, right? And sometimes it looked like it's going to be drawn, right? It's so dangerous. And sometimes it is really worse situation. Even sometimes with the, the ship, right, uh, it was look like it's not going forward, it's going backward, right? Because of the ocean is not a, a very favorable at that point, especially. So we end up uh, by after 21 days, but before we came in uh, uh, to end up in Canada, uh, we basically we were in a very worse situation at that time. And we ran out of our food four days before, and kind of we ran out of uh, water. There's no water even at that time. So then uh, some people are kind of very close to the death. So that can be the worst. Uh, situation I can say at that time when people were not had any hope where we can end up. Yeah. Now when we land uh, in uh, in the uh, Canadian land and that that was also it's kind of we were thinking probably the captain he will uh, um, bring that ship on a port and then we can go out and the people are waiting for us they will take us to somewhere and it was not happened. So the what uh, 
uh, Captain that he bring that ship on a, without port. There's no port when then he ask us to jump out. So basically jumping out of that ship was itself it's a big challenge. All right. Nobody I think can do that and it is as, as you can see those ships, right, cargo ships, they are huge, big and uh, they just put a slide up there and they told us okay everybody can go through the slide and th uh, the worst part of that was it was dark, right, it, uh, I think early morning, two o'clock and they told us okay you guys need to be jump out and nobody knows it, it's still in the water or uh, it's uh, on the land. It you can see from uh, that high height up there. So what we did then we can start jumping off. And uh, only we can listen, can see anything. The people who jump in down there, they were crying. And nobody knows what happened with them, right? Hard to know. And while we came down, it was kind of a big stones around that area right if you still go there then you can find out and we went a couple of times on back that spot where we land and uh, unfortunately that is not a port that was not a one place where we supposed to be land average people land on that yeah when we uh, basically the captain asked us okay you need to be jump out no matter what right uh, and they said, it's okay, it can be safe, you go ahead and do your jump, that, that's what you should be doing. And uh, obviously there was no choice, right, and uh, we jump. Then when we land, it was all stones around us, and luckily, somehow, I think God was helping us. That's what I can say, only God is the one who help us. And we land right between of those big stones. Right, there's a little water, not much, but little water, uh, but uh, we are landed safe, right? And many of us, we are okay, but some of them, they get hurt, right? They had a, a problem, some of them, I think one of person had a leg uh, fracture, and a couple of them had a, other injuries up there too. All right, when we land up there, then uh, we don't know where we are going, and the Especially we don't know where we land uh, and just they were saying it is Canada but we were in doubt. We don't know. Really we are in Canada. So and when we are there then it's hard to find out at that night time which way we should go. So then we, what we can do, we stay there, we relax, we sit for I think hour, hour and a half, two hours uh, to just prayer. Um, then we start finding the way which way we should go, right? Uh, as usually we were listening our stories uh, when we were very young, very um, when we were kid, and we were saying, okay, there's a light. Then people start following that light. That's what we did, and there was a light. I think uh, kind of two, three kilometers from that area, right? Then we can start walking towards that light to find out where we are going and uh, we end up on the road and when we end up on the road then we can uh, uh, the person came on road he was uh, in pickup truck and uh, he basically uh, we because we were very dirty at that time right we came from mud kind of just walking in mud and when we came out of that uh, then we stopped that pickup uh, uh, truck and uh, I ask a first question to that person, is it Canada? Then he said, yeah, it is Canada. Who you guys are? Where from you guys came? And what, what is the problem? The first thing we told them and we told that guy, we are very hungry, right? Because we did not eat from long time. Um, he's so kind, so nice. And not only him, but the, that part of uh, Canada, the village, whole village, they helped a lot, big time, and uh, they took us uh, at uh, his place, even we were dirty, we had a uh, not very good situation, then he gave us uh, food first, he um, helped us all the way, and asked us, okay, how we can help you, right? 
so they did a lot of help and we appreciate them and i am still we have a contact with them still we meet each other still we can have very good relation with the, those people and we went twice back there 